Morning news, served just the way you want it. Here's a look at some of the stories that you may have missed while you were offline. CBS and AM, stream free, weekday. Hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. Thanks so much for joining me. In his first three days in office, President Biden signed nearly 30 executive orders. The bulk of the actions focus on two of his administration's top priorities, the coronavirus pandemic and the economic crisis, which has followed. The president says he wants to work with a bipartisan group of lawmakers to pass a larger $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief package, some Republican lawmakers have knocked the idea of another stimulus bill after signing off on a nearly trillion dollars worth of spending at the end of last year. CBS News' Skylar Henry is at the White House with the very latest. President Biden made it clear on Friday his team is taking the pandemic head on, adamant about delivering on a promise to distribute more coronavirus vaccines. Week before they're saying, Biden, you crazy? You can't do 100 million in 100 days. Well, we're going to, God willing, not only do 100 million, we're going to do more than that. The president signed two more executive actions a day after unveiling his economic recovery plan, addressing the ripple effects of the pandemic. One directs government agencies to find ways to pay all federal workers and contractors a minimum wage of $15 an hour. The other urging the Agriculture Department to boost pandemic food benefits for low-income families by 15 percent. All told, the American Rescue Plan would lift 12 million Americans out of poverty and cut child poverty in half. The White House admits it will take bipartisan support to get the massive near $2 trillion relief plan passed. But the price tag isn't appealing to some Republicans. There are some added items in there that he's going to have a real tough time getting through that really aren't part of COVID relief. He'll have to separate those out. Also impacting the aid deal, the Senate's packed schedule. So far, only having confirmed two of President Biden's cabinet picks. See you around campus. The Senate made history voting to confirm retired General Lloyd Austin, the country's first black defense secretary. And on deck... The uh, nomination uh, will be reported uh, unanimously. Treasury Secretary nominee Janet Yellen, getting a vote of confidence out of committee. She'd be the first woman to lead the department. I think that you're going to find quick approval. But don't forget, the ones that we've approved are mostly connected with national security, and uh, intelligence and defense, and they've always had a priority whether you have a Republican or Democrat president. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says President Biden plans on rolling up his sleeves and working with lawmakers in order to negotiate his new bipartisan COVID relief package. Lana. Skyler, thank you. Joining me now for more on President Biden's plans for his first 100 days in office is Ashley Allison.